we approach the vacation season, we are reminded that it is time to celebrate, a time to be joyful, and a time for me to assign your midterm project. We, we're supposed to have the next two weeks off. And this project should take two weeks to complete. It works perfectly. Now, this project... <laughs> Nice try, Miss Pesky, but this is history. Oh, so that's why I was sleeping. Getting back to your midterm assignments. This year we are going to be making historical dioramas. Behold, the Battle of Waterbug. The Battle of Waterbug took place in a shoebox? A human shoebox, yes. But that, of course, was much bigger. A diorama is a scaled-down recreation. Now, don't take this assignment lightly. It counts for one-third of your grade. <laughs> Have you started on your diorama? Ugh, don't remind me. Did someone say diorama? I remember my first diorama, the Gettysburg Address. I spent weeks on that baby. It's what really turned me on to history. You wouldn't happen to still have that baby, would ya? If I had a nickel for every time someone asked me that, I'd, uh, have a nickel. <laughs> This diorama is a really big deal, Maggie. I can't dunk out of history. Uh, neither can I. That's why I'm getting a little help from my Uncle Morty. Who? Uncle Morty's House of Dioramas. Specializing in pre-made dioramas for the very busy student who, let's face it, has better things to do. That's me. That's cheating. You can't. I just did. I should be receiving my deluxe recreation of the Boston Flea Party in five business days. Uh, fly friend, Bugspit totally has it out for you. If you turn in a project that's even slightly above average, he's gonna know you didn't do it. You may have a point, but what if Bugspit actually saw me working on the diorama? Then you'd actually have to work on the diorama. Not necessarily. What kind of flea invites a teacher over for dinner? I just invited him to be nice. I figured, hey, he's into dioramas, dad was into dioramas, he'll see me working on my diorama, it'll be fun. And me without my party hat. That's him now. Play with people. And go. Uh, oh, <laughs> I guess I'll get it. Hello. Welcome, Mr. Bugspear. I'm Frida. Uh, call me Cornelius. These are for you. Uh, wasn't sure what to bring. I don't get invited to dinner very often. Almost never. Okay, this is a first. Oh, my goodness. Flowers and chocolates. Oh, and a fake mustache. I'll take that. Come in, Cornelius. I'm Chauncey Pesky. Oh, Maggie's told me all about you. Uh, the Gettysburg address. <laughs> a fellow diorama to date this. Not only is one hard to find, it's hard to say. <laughs> hey there, Mr. B. I get up, and I'm right in the middle of working super-duper hard on my diorama. Oh, it looks like diorama fever is catching. And that is how the Royal Bee Kingdom was saved. Wow, what a story. I, I got plenty more where that came from. Can, Can we, we please be excused? excused? Certainly, kids. Go ahead. Save yourselves. I'm telling you, Reina, bugs that totally fell from my I Love Diorama's routine. So, want to go to the mall tomorrow? <laughs> oh, that's right. You have to work on your history project. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, they're coming. Gotta go man my station. Sweetie, aren't you gonna say goodnight? Maggie, dear. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. I just get so caught up. I have to hand it to you, Cornelius. You've really made history come alive for me and my daughter. It's a gift. I only wish I was alive when Dad's diorama was still around. Bet it was a doozy. Well, good night. It really was something. Well, I have two weeks to kill. Why don't we make a new one? I'll be back first thing tomorrow. Isn't this fun? All of us working on dioramas at the same time. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Girl, I wouldn't miss this. You invited Bugspit for one quick dinner, and now he won't leave. <laughs> so much for your get-out-of-work-free plan. <laughs> Shh, I just have to keep pretending to work on the fake diorama when he's around until my internet one gets delivered. It's all good. <laughs> Well, it's taken us three long days. Or, But who's counting? Anyway, here it is! Super! Thank you for bringing history out of the classroom and into every facet of our life. Too bad it has to end. Maybe it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it does. Chauncey, how would you like to join me in an historical reenactment? Wow! Going from diorama straight to a reenactment? Do you think I'm ready? No, it's too much. Absolutely. How would you like to help me build an authentic scale model colonial trading vessel and live the life of a sea fly? That's very busy. We could build it right here in our backyard. What do you say, matey? Ah, uh, you're on.
Uh, but I'm going to be the uh, <clears throat> captain, so henceforward you should probably address me as such. Aye, aye, captain. What's wrong with you guys? It's like four o'clock in the morning. Four bells, don't you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Say, we could use another hand on deck. Climb aboard and get your sea legs. Only a fool would have anything to do with this. Cabin boy, second class, Cooper, Pesky, reporting for duty. Or should I say cabin man? I can't take it. This is supposed to be my vacation. But he's everywhere. It's all bugs fit all the time. Well, on the upside, that diorama is looking good. You're right. The one from the internet still isn't here, so I have to keep pretending to care about this stupid thing. I, I don't know how this could get any worse. Ahoy, lasses. <laughs> Thought I'd better shower up. Worked up a hearty sweat on deck. Might you direct your captain to the linen closet for a loofah? Uh, Excellent. Carry on. Don't take this the wrong way, but I can't come over here. Ever. Again. And now, my good crew, it is time for our vessel to set sail, First Officer Pesky. By the power of Her Majesty the Queen and this bottle of rotten grape soda, I christened thee the Bug Spit Bounty. <laughs> It was supposed to be here four days ago. I've still got a little vacation to enjoy. Uncle Morty promised me a finished diorama, and I want it now. I have a finished diorama. Hey, guys, check it out. I finished my diorama, and it's totally fantastic. Very impressive, Maggie. And you're just in time for a reenactment on the high seas. Ready to climb aboard and make history? Well, as exciting as playing pirate in a fake boat is, I'm heading down to the real mall to buy some real shoes. Maggie, I thought we'd really connected these last 13 days. Your enthusiasm, your diorama, you're like the history-loving student I never had. <sighs> First mate Maggie, reporting for duty, sir. Sorry, got a first mate already. Can use a deckhand, though. Really? What does a deckhand do? Choppy waters ahead. We'd best change our direction. To the north! To the north! Cabin man, second class. Deckhand <laughs> Maggie, check course for passing vessels. Oh, whatever. No passing vessels headed our way. Just a delivery truck. Delivery truck? Hello! Uncle Morty's diorama! Sailor, you weren't given permission to leave your post. But I have to get off the ship. Are you mad? We're at sea. I have a delivery for Maggie Pesky. I'll get it. Then your station, sweetheart. I'll take care of the landlubber. No, really, I can sign for it. Look, somebody just sign. Wait, it could be a trick. Seize the package. Why are all the historical reenactments on my route? There. It is the captain's right to take stock of captured booty. No, seriously, hands off my booty! Mutiny! Seize the traitor! Ha ha! House of Dioramas? I can explain. Hmm, it seems we have a cheater in our midst. Anything you'd like to say for yourself? Shiver me timbers? For the crime of attempting to cheat on her midterm assignment, it is with great regret that we court-martial deckhand Maggie Pesky. Can't you just ground me like a normal dad? Not when I'm wearing this hat. Well, I did make my own diorama, so technically I didn't really cheat. And in my determination to get out of all the work, I actually did all the work. I even learned a lot of stuff I didn't know about the Boston Fleet Party. All right, then, Maggie. Since you did make an excellent diorama, I suppose we can go easy on your sentence. Hear ye, hear ye. Third period is about to commence. Third period. 